Hello. This is it, the one I was talking about. Just to dock two ships in orbit. I tried the uh, the idea of sending up one ship with two detachable pods and connecting those, but it doesn't work. I didn't expect it to, if I'm honest. But it was fun to give it a quick go. So uh, here is the first rocket. I've got a feeling this one's probably a bit too big. This was originally the one that had the two side pods on it. Um, I just changed the top part slightly to have a docking port instead of um, like some electricity and RCS and stuff. And I stuck the RCS port at the bottom. Well, RCS fuel, should I say. This is going to be a fairly quick one, I would have uh, thought. Already dropping them bottom tanks off. I'm just going to bring this one up into about 150,000 orbit, and then I'm going to time the second ship to uh, come up and uh, immediately connect. It shouldn't be a problem. Just doing a 360 here. All part of the plan, all part of the plan. Okay, let's open up the map in a second, let's see, we're getting there, this first bit should be pretty quickly, I'm not very good at docking, I will say that now, so I'm probably going to end up fast forwarding somewhat when I get to the docking section, I've uh, not really done a lot of docking, and if you've ever watched any of my older videos, um, yeah, it usually takes several approaches and a lot of missed dockings. But I always get there in the end. Nearly there. Oh, run out of fuel. Let's drop that bottom bit off. That bit there is going to probably be what will get the uh, the ship back down into orbit. My uh, intention is uh, once I dock the second craft, which will probably be a completely different one, um, I'm going to dock it to the top of this one and then bring them both down to land. I've got the ablator on this one, so I'm going to take the uh, person who will probably be Valentina and I'll... Uh, put her into the uh, this one since it can hold three and I've only got Jebediah controlling it he's actually level four star at the moment four star pilot I'm loving it a few more missions and this little dude's gonna be five star oh that's 150 on one side mm, and 56 meh it's alright I'll have to bring it down to 50 again It's not too bad. Right, let's whack this up. Shouldn't take too long. Bring the other side down to 50k, uh, 150k. And then uh, bring the other side up, and then I'm good. I've had people ask me in the other videos why I don't use um, nodes. The answer is, you don't need to. If you know what you're looking for on the um, nav ball, you can pretty much control the uh, majority of it without the need for it. I do use nodes, obviously, for the longer journeys, or to um, find out where I need to be aiming. If I'm going to be like landing on the moon and whatever, but once I've got it, I generally just don't bother. 150... 149, that looks good to me. Right. Let's just get rid of this bit on the top, and then there will be a jump cut to the second ship. There we go. See if I can knock it away. And no. See if I can blow it away. Nope. Oh, fuck it. Right. Jump cut! Now... Okay, part two. Just built this rocket quickly. Not really need a lot. Just something to uh, send 
this tiny little docking craft up with Valentina in it. Yep, upon building this one, I realised that the other one, where I removed the top section, no longer has any solar panels. So, uh, that'll be fun. I can't move the uh, second craft, so docking might take a little bit longer than I expected. So I will be definitely fast forwarding. Um, this one does have solar panels, so if I can dock them together, it won't be a problem. They'll both have electricity. Just bringing it up quickly. Uh, if I've set it up correctly, I should just be able to set up an encounter immediately without needing to circle Kerbin about 50 times. The way I do it is I wait until it's nearly on top of me, and then I'll set up a slightly higher orbit, and uh, that will make it so that I'm currently set to come down behind it, and um, you'll better see it now. Yeah, and then you see all I've got to do is just accelerate when I get to the um, Apeops, and uh, an encounter will be generated, it's not really a problem. The only bit I find really tricky is the actual docking. I'm shit at it. Right, let's get these solar panels out. In a second, I'm just going to pause the video. Well, pause. Yeah, I'm not going to bother speaking until I'm, like, nearly docked. I'll keep narrating and I'll edit this at a later date. And then I can pick the point. Uh -huh. Well, this will do it, I think. So I'll see you on the other side. Oh, here we are. This is uh, recording done after I'd already saved the video. Uh, I actually overshot the initial encounter ever so slightly here. So um, I ended up with a 90-odd kilometre, but I easily adjusted it at a later date. Um, it didn't take me too long to get uh, close to the ship, but uh, by the time I had actually got there, as you can see about here, it's about two kilometers away, um, I started worrying about the electricity of the other ship because I did have the SAS on and I didn't want to turn it off just in case as I approach I end up sending it into a spin, but uh, yeah, I, I suck at docking. Pretty much here, there's just going to be uh, a lot of failed attempts, a lot of approaches, a lot of spinning around. At least I've got it on the right side of the uh, Kerbin, so you can see what's going on. That and I needed the light anyway. But, um, yeah. There's not really uh, much else to say. I've... Uh, continued the recording of my actual voice from the time in a few seconds, so I'll just pass you back. Come on. Come on. This is it. This is the one. This has got to be the one. Right, turn the SAS off. Let the magnets do yes! We're in. Come on. Right. Achieved goal. I have docked two crafts. I am so proud. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The crowd goes wild. Like, the most incredible journey imaginable. Okay. That's pretty much it. We are docked and done. Now all I need to do is just get some... Uh, Electric charge. Oh, sun's that way. Oh, wrong way. There we go. That should nicely charge it up. If I fast forward here, it will do the job. And there we go. This should get the charge nice. Well, that's maxed that out. I think it's time to bring this bad boy in. Need to fast forward now, just until we get around to the uh, bright side. Notice I left the SAS off. No way am I draining the battery. I say battery, but there is no bloody battery. That would have been a smart thing to do. 
Right. Just turn it around there and we'll start bringing it back in. Let's have a look, see if I can bring this thing down on land. Um, I think I've actually got a pretty good uh, point here. I'm coming down pretty much over the largest land chunk. Should be nice. It's right about here that I think I'll make a quick save. I am not afraid to say that I have before made mistakes. So, right, that should do it, I think. Don't want to go too far down. Let's start uh, time accelerating and bring this bad boy in. I don't think I need this anymore, this big fuel tank. Let's spin and get rid of that. Beautiful. Don't want that thing crashing into me now, do I? Okay. Uh, right, yep, yeah, I forgot. Nope. Yep, can't bring those things in anymore. God knows why you can't uh, bring the solar panels back in. Maybe I should see if I can set up an action group to toggle them in and out. I don't know if that works. It used to. Right. 142,000. If I time accelerate and bring it down nice and quick. Jebediah and Valentina there. Both looking uh, rather happy that the trip is over. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. Coming right down on land. Alright, let's see how much of the ablator I use here. You know, I've just noticed another design flaw. It would appear that where I uh, altered this pod, I didn't move the um, landing gear down. Shouldn't be a problem with eight parachutes. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about anything breaking, but uh, <laughs> that just looks funny. Oh dear. Oh well, I'll put those away for now. Or do I want them to blow up? Eh. Right, let's bring it in. See if any of this ablator gets used. After I've finished the uh, landing, guys, I'm going to check the... Um, mission thing to see if I've unlocked any more if I have that would be awesome although I might need to upgrade some of the buildings first I've got a feeling that um, where I've not upgraded any buildings for so long that um, I don't know but we'll find out Yeah, barely any ablator used. 67. But meh. Where I docked with the craft, my um, action group seems to have uh, disappeared, so I'm just going to have to manually deploy all of these chutes. Why am I spinning upside down? Meh. Right, where are they? Got one there. Okay, I turned the SAS off. Let's just uh, put that back on. Right, should be a couple more. That's one. And that looks to be the last one. Yep. When these open, it should give some cool shapes. Any second now. Oh, there they go. That looks quite cool. Like some sort of flower. Oh well, no need to uh, wait. Let's just bring this down. Six meters a second. 
yeah, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about anything breaking. Slow it down just to be sure. And touchdown. Easy mode. Right, let's recover it. Nothing fantastic happened. No science or anything, so I haven't got to worry about checking all that rubbish. I've not unlocked anything since the last video, so um, yeah, nothing will have changed. Let's have a look what missions I've got here. Uh, they've all got durations. Ooh, plant a flag on Eve. Oh, guys, what happened in the last video? I've got a dude sitting on Eve. Oh, look at that. Am I glad I didn't plant a flag there? That would seem to be an easy one. Let's see, what's this? Build uh, a new outpost. Yeah. That's no good. I couldn't bring the one that's in orbit down. Oh, well. No problem. No problem. So there's nothing fantastic. Let's go and fast forward time and see if anything changes. I'll uh, fast forward a few days, see if anything happens. Uh, I should probably go for 10,000. And that'll do. Let's see if anything else has changed. Nope, duration. Duration. Nah, nothing. Doesn't really look like anything new. But anyway, that was fun. Fun little video there, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, thumbs up comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.